six wouldn't be here, I'd probably be up the floor. Look at that. Look at FedEx delivering boxes. Or UPS, whatever. Does it matter? <clears throat> Five, six is over here. Number six gotta be that golden one. You open the door, my man. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Terrible shave. Means there's nobody to let us in. You want to do the honors, Phelps? Excuse me, isn't that against the law? Uh, what we got here? What we got? What we got? What we got? Apparently nothing here. He doesn't even clean up after himself. What's wrong with him? Look at that. Look at that blood. Let's not pick that up yet. There you go. Here's that other note. I mean, here's that other note. Who's that? I have to know. Take long before you are healed and you can come home. I have put your things back into your old room. With a lock at the door. On the door. For your privacy. Why would you do that, mom? You know she's going to get drinking. And you can come and go as you please. Yeah, mom, you're not that smart. I will care for you and you can return to your normal life. I know your address has changed, so I cannot be sure this letter will find you. But I pray that it does, and that you consider what I have said. I love you very, really much, and I may, and I may, and I pray, wow, every night that you are safe, and that one day you will knock on my door, and that the rift between us will be mended. Damn, that sounds sad. Torn from the letter we found beside the body. At the very least, I'd say it ties McCaffrey to the scene. That is sad. Are you serious? She's like, one day you would come knocking on my door. Too bad. Too bad. Wow. Too bad. That door is all bloody now. Look at that blood. He's gonna look at it and not say anything. Let me get this tire on. Come on, let's get it. Let's get it. I got it. I got it. I know I can get it. Bam! She don't even roll it. He said he was at home. He said he didn't know her. And we have. The Let's see Carruthers argue his way out of this one. Excuse me, Is don't you need a warrant? Governor? Who are you guys? What are you doing in here? We're robbing them. Do, you, do you know where we might find McCaffrey? I'm his neighbor. Is he in trouble? Look, lady, we need to find him, and in a hurry. Are you going to give me trouble? He has a pigeon coop up on the roof. He spends his mornings up there when he's been drinking. How do we get up there? Down the hall and up the stairs. Yeah, I'm not in command of a carrier pigeon. Hmm. Surely we can ride him up to that. A citation, at least. Is that against the law or something? I don't even know. That's that cop. I don't see why it would be. Yo, guy. man, what's up? You think talk is cheap? Try hiring a lawyer. You right. But man, if you want to go to jail, if you want to go no, if you don't want to go to jail, my man, you better hire that lawyer. You better be a good lawyer too. Cause then you go in jail. That public defense don't work for shit. Grosvenor McCaffrey. Yeah, just yell. Running on a hangover, McCaffrey. Sit down and we'll talk. Let's go get our wheels. There you go. Ah, I I have so much trouble with this. Let's just go down. McCaffrey, calm down, please. Kathy, I'm trying to get you, and you're running. Kathy, you piece of shit. Can I just take out my gun? No, you already well, took that corner. Stay and fight the good fight. No. Wow, dude, are you not gonna tell me where he is? Please, snitch on him. I'm gonna get his ass. I'm gonna get him. Huh? Why are you running? You know you got caught. You got the blood iron. You got shit. You got everything. Where he is, there he is. Thank you. Thank you. I got you, my man. I'm glad you trust us. Bro, well, you know I can be some gangbanger. She's trying to rob his ass. Give it up, LAPD. But no, you thought I was a person. Get him, get him, get him. Tackle, tackle. Y'all don't think I've seen a tackle. Boom. Oh, he got his ass. You're under arrest on suspicion of murdering Evelyn Summers. Did you just hit him in the back of the head.
We need to get downtown and wrap this thing up. Yep. It's gotta be McCaffrey. This, this seems like a, kind of a quick one. I'm not gonna lie. Unless set him up. You don't think that asshole Jameson could have done it, do you? Well, Alright, let's go to that central. That Dahlia fuck. How do you know that McCaffrey didn't do the Dahlia? We have a list of over 200 suspects. His name was never on it. If you think the list is exhaustive, Rusty, who am I to argue? Listen, let's just work the case at hand, shall we? Then we can sit down and put all the puzzle pieces together at a later date. I'll hold you to that. Yes, we can probably have a beer. And, you know, try to solve everything. Because you're always smarter when you have a couple beers on you. Should you even bring out the tequila? Why not? Why not? Come on, let's get a little bit hungover. You're, you're young, fellow. I think we're like, what, 30? Maybe even late 20s? Ah, oh, are you serious? Oh my god, please. Calm down! Shut up, Surly! If I don't get this five stars, I'm blaming the game for everything. Right, let's go over here. Let's take this train. Choo choo! All aboard the, the Felp car. Anybody want to join this car? This car is full of criminals! I don't even think we ever arrest somebody in this car. We shot people down with him, but we never arrested anybody. Holy shit, there's You're people right sure there. you can make it stick with one of these suspects, Jeff? It's either McCaffrey or Tiernan, sir. I think Jameson is an aberration. All right. I'll deal with that degraded lunatic myself. He's got some fearful retribution coming. Tiernan is a one, McCaffrey is not two. I want a confession from one of them. Don't fail me, young Don't fail me. Dude, we got some evidence. Like, we found the thing at his house. We don't have fingerprinting yet, so how we, we ain't gonna know. Yo. Why did you run, Tiernan? I was the last one to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. Yo, dude, why do you have blood on your face? <laughs> relationship with last victim. I mean, wow, relationship with last. Relationship with victim. Can you describe your relationship with Evelyn? I, I barely knew Evelyn. Dude, why do you got some blood on your face? I don't remember you having blood. Is it because we flipped that car or did someone beat your ass? I don't remember. That's a lie. Keep lying to me and I'll have you charged and in front of a grand jury before your feet touch the ground. <laughs> How can you possibly prove Evelyn and I were more than friends? Oh, victim last seen, my friend. Victim last seen. Or a hotel. Ooh, what you guys been doing? McCaffrey gave you up, Tiernan. He says he saw you go into your hotel with Evelyn. I met Evelyn at the public library. We would read for a while and then go for a drink. Last night, we went back to my hotel room and had some more to drink. What a drinker. I must have passed out. I woke up and she was gone. Damn, what she took all your this? shit? Around midnight, maybe later. And there's no one who can confirm this. Well, she can. No. There isn't. I knew you wouldn't believe me. She, she can confirm it, Phelps, but she's dead. So, we got that for you. Anyway, victim's book found? Aristotle's Metaphysics. The book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at her once and laughed in her face. And you're saying Evelyn stole it. She wanted something of his. Boy, you stole that shit for her. You loved her. You worked your goddamn. We either hang this on you or McCaffrey. You better give us something. Well, McCaffrey's been in trouble with the law before. I mean, he always makes out it was some kind of labor dispute. But, you know, I'm not so sure. Damn. You literally did not answer my question whatsoever. You just try to blame the dude on him. Anyway, alibi. What's your alibi, my man? You and Evelyn were drinking together last night. And she had no other place to stay. I well, she don't kinda does. know what happened last night. I, I don't remember. So you did probably kill her. We have no proof of that. You're lying, Tiernan. You've been fighting with her. You fought and... I'm not lying! She got up and left! That was it! You fought. She left, but she came back. She bought you a quart of whiskey to make it up to you. She told the liquor store owner. You're in deep trouble, buddy. She said she loved me. She wanted to care for me. 
But you never stop talking about McCaffrey. McCaffrey? Uh, McCaffrey was a writer, and McCaffrey was a hero. McCaffrey cared for the little guy. Did you kill her, Tiernan? I might as well have. I kicked her out. She had nowhere to go. Yeah, you did kill her, dude. Anyway, access to murder weapon. You do work at uh, Rolling Bones or whatever the hell that place is called. Do you own a car, Tiernan? No, I don't. Hmm. Broke ass. Have access to a lug wrench? No, we use a lot of them to clear jams in the pin setting machines. Coroner's report says that Evelyn was killed with a wrench. Damn. I think you did it and then planted the evidence at McCaffrey's apartment for us to find. We went to his apartment. McCaffrey was up on the roof. Evelyn stole the book. <laughs> McCaffrey went crazy when he found out. He said, he said he would put her out of her misery. He can be very cruel. Yeah, it's very cruel. Cool. Yeah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna charge you now. Evelyn was missing a ring from her right hand. That's strange. She always wore it. A uh, big black circular disc with a white E in the middle. It was made from an old typewriter key, a present from the prop department at her old movie studio. We're going to talk to McCaffrey. You need to think about what you've told us, Tiernan. You're not in the clear. So, like, if she was the old movie thing, what kind of movie she make? I want to see him. I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. That's good to know, man. I'm thinking of moving up nowhere. I'm in Homicide, man. It's the big boy place. You don't know nothing about that. I think you're in Homicide, though. I'm not even sure. You ready to answer some questions? You think I have all the answers? I don't know who they were. People who you have some answers. usually have something to hide. Touche, detective. Let's see where this takes us. Now, look at this dude. He thinks he's slick over here. Alibi, man. Where's your alibi? Evelyn died sometime around midnight. Remind me, where were you? I was at home, writing. I'm working on a manuscript. You a liar. You're lying, McCaffrey. You were out at the rail yard. And what do you have that proves I was there? I saw you. I saw you kill him. Where's that torn letter? Right here. Look at this torn letter. You have part of it, my friend. You have part of it. How about half of Augusta Summer's last correspondence with her daughter? What are you talking about? After you were done beating Evelyn, you searched her and found her mother's letter. That old lady's anguish amused you. I know nothing about a letter or Evelyn's goddamn mother. So what was it doing on your writing desk? I don't know, but if I didn't put it there, somebody else did. Look at him, look at him lying. Try exercising your powers of deduction on that. Look at him, why are you lying? There's no reason to lie here. Uh, access to tire iron. We found the lug wrench that Evelyn was battered with in your apartment, and the note from her mother, and your blood-stained clothing. We have you cold, McCaffrey. You think if I could be bothered to murder Evelyn Summers, I would be stupid enough to leave the evidence in my apartment? Well, you may be smart, book smart, but you're not smart, straight smart. I don't believe you, Grosvenor. The evidence that says said. that you killed her. You can prove that I wanted to kill Evelyn? Shit, I can prove a lot of things, my man. There's Taryn Accusion. Threats of violence. Tiernan is prepared to testify that you threatened Evelyn's life in his presence. Self I hurt myself. I hurt myself. Okay, I'll level with you. Tiernan killed Evelyn. He came to me for help. I listened to him, and he explained why he did it. Tiernan went to you for help. You expect me to buy that? That's how it went down. I told him he made a terrible mistake, but he would be throwing his life away if he went to the cops. I took his things and told him I would dispose of them. But you didn't. Speak to Tiernan. He'll give it up. I don't trust you, my man. Let's go talk. Let's go talk to some people. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, detective? I need the jacket on a Grosvenor McCaffrey. You need the jacket? Is that how you say it, really? Bro, I changed the voice. Was formerly under surveillance by the Red Squad. 
I don't know how that is. Thank you. Thank you, my man. I'm gonna go talk to the first dude. There's a bunch of just talking back and forth, back and forth on these people. Excuse me. What have you been doing? You spoken to McCaffrey? I can go. It's all been cleared up. Not oh, he's not even moving his mouth. We have one more question we need to ask, James. Then I think we will be done. Sure. Go ahead. Uh, event prior to the murder, my man. I'm 24. Well, wow. passed out, and you walked out. What happened next? I woke up in the morning. Very hungover. <laughs> I thought Evelyn would come back. Boy, you kicked around. Why would she come back? You would think you were going to start a fight? You probably would have beat her ass right there. I know you're lying, James. You went out looking for her. Tell me what really happened. I don't know what you're talking about. How, how can you say I wasn't in that hotel room? His mouth looks all weird. Ooh. Why can't you just stay in place for like a couple of seconds? Okay, where is it? McCaffrey Accusion. He told me. He snitched on you. You wound up at McCaffrey's. You were still incredibly drunk. You passed out on his floor. It's time to tell me what really happened. McCaffrey woke me up the next morning. And he showed me the lug wrench and the letter and the box. And he said I came in with him last night. He said that I killed Evelyn. And that it was all over the radio. And that he would protect me. And I don't know, Detective, for the life of me, I can't remember a goddamn thing. And I was angry with her. Really angry. I could have done it. Mm. Was it me? Boy, how am I supposed to know? I'm not gonna charge you yet. I'll be back. I'm gonna let you Wait sweat. Here. I'm gonna make you think about what you did, Consar. Let's go talk to the writer over here. Excuse me, what up? Oh, your military service, my man? Oh, you're 38. God damn, you were like in 10 the years war? Apart. Yes, I was. Seeing the things that I saw, it changes a man. I came back here determined to change things. All I wanted was a pen and an opportunity to speak out. You told us before that you had only shut the hell minor run-ins with the police. You didn't mention petty theft. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's the salient point here, isn't it? That's a goddamn lie. You're lying, McCaffrey. You have a history of violence towards women. How do you turn a couple parking tickets in a petty theft misdemeanor into an assault charge? Boy, this is why you left pr not prison, my bad. Uh, that's why you left the military, because you know you beat that girl's ass. We know all about you and your dishonorable discharge. Beating some poor woman near to death in Syracuse. You've never been in combat, McCaffrey. Your whole life is a fraud. She was a goddamn peasant whore! She tried to steal from my wallet! I could have fought for this country! I could have... You beat her because she stole from you. Because she tried to outsmart you. The ignorant audacity of the bitch. What is a man supposed to do? Sit there and take it? How is a man supposed to call himself a man? And Evelyn Summers, a poor, drunken nobody, stole your book. And she got what was coming to her. Damn. Charge him. He basically said it. Grosvenor McCaffrey, I'm charging you with the murder of Evelyn Summers. She was a sad lady. Never hurt anyone except herself. I hope God finds a way to forgive you. Congratulations, boys. You bagged the fine catch. Thank Another you. Another red to boot. Grant. Now, I want you to put this business about a repeat offender out of your mind. This McCaffrey creature shows no remorse. And neither will the grand jury. You would have to walk a long mile to find a better candidate for an unmarked plot at the prison graveyard. Look at me smiling. It's like I did it. That was all me. How damn Phelps cares about his ego. We don't care about people no more. What happened to you, Phelps? It was always about, uh, the right person, uh, about all this. 
Oh, let me see. Let me see if I get five stars. Shit, I did a lot of damage. Oh, look. No, I did four. God damn it. I did too much damage. <laughs> uh, whatever. I did it. I got five. I did everything. 17, 15, 15. If it's just less damage, I, I would have done better. Look at that bridge. We're getting shot from behind and front. What we the hell? We have lost most of and Dunn squad. The gun is dead. First platoon is in worse shape. That medic is still crazy with the bravest man alive. Now we rally with the first. They're trying for the Naboo. It's sheared to the left. To the right, it goes right through a pass with two Naboo's and infilate. Mate, we can I'm lose everyone. Mate, the lieutenant. Get back off this fucking bridge. They'll start walking the mortars back to their own positions. We only have I'm minutes. I'm in charge here, Sergeant. Get your men off the bridge, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? We don't have time for this, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? I company 22nd Marines, Lieutenant. And we just saved your ass by fording the river. My orders are to reconnoiter the... I think that point is now moot. You have 10 men left. My orders are to save what's left. Move out. Oh, guys, you're not supposed to leave your lieutenant back here? What's wrong with you? I am the higher command. I run everybody. The quarter moon murderers. Amazing. Anyway, that's going to be it for today, guys. This is ag 4 ns 97 signing out. See you guys. No, wait. Whoa. Let me calm down. Before we start going crazy, don't forget to subscribe. Like me on Facebook. I don't even know. Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on whatever. Not even Google. I don't even use Google Plus that much though. But yep, that's me. This is AG4N97 signing out. See you guys next time.